Ely, Minnesota may be the walleye fishing capital of the world. Hey everybody, I'm Captain Peterson. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here and you like big fish, boats, and cool gear, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. We got many more videos to come. There's also amazing crappie fishing and northern fishing. This man right here has been fishing those, these waters and the Bounty Waters in Ely, Minnesota longer than anybody I know. What do you got to say about this adventure we're going on today? Uh, we're at Farm Lake. It's on part of the White Iron Chain. Um, it's known for walleye fishing, smallmouth bass, northern pike and crappie. We're going to uh, do some trolling for walleyes this morning and maybe do a little crappie fishing. Um, see what we can get out here. Todd Larson, Bass Trail Guide Service. My Uncle Terry. He's one of the guys that inspired the whole waterfall life dream that I've got in this YouTube channel. I can't thank these guys enough for uh, giving me, what do we call it? Boat logic? Is that what we call it, Terry? No, no, that's right. Boat logic. We just talk about life and how uh, how life's moving for us and where we're going with it. And uh, Terry gives us a little insight on uh, his years of experience. Terry gives us uh, a hard time is what he does. Dude, that's exactly <laughs> what he does. Yeah, eight hours of giving us a hard time. Yeah, and we need it. How often do we need this to stay sane? Uh, twice a year. At least twice a year. Yep. Try it sometime. All right, guys, catch you on the flip side. Tell me that story about tracking that one 700 pounder through the woods on your hands and knees and all that. We had 36 rounds into that bear before he finally fell over. <laughs> perch colored crayfish. It's uh, our number one forage is perch um, and crayfish. So we run a lot of stuff that looks um, like a perch or a crayfish. Um, another color is purple descent we use. Um, why purple works good, I have no clue. It's not something that you see as a bait fish up here. I heard it was but, because uh, of Prince. I mean, it's from Minnesota. From Minnesota Prince, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. 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 These fish like say music. So, <laughs> yeah. but, uh, so we're going to run it behind the boat about 65, 70 feet. And uh, we're running some braided line. What kind of pound test and brand um, and all 40, that? It's 45 pound test. This here is Gorilla Braid. Um, I've got Power Pro on the other one. And uh, both of them are about 45 pound test. Um, don't really need it that heavy for the fish that we're catching, but the reason we run it that heavy is if we do hook into a pike, you got a good chance of getting them in, especially if it's a big fish. We're just fishing outside of a weed line. It's actually wild rice is what we're fishing outside of now. Um, we're gonna be running anywhere between 12 and 20 feet of water. We're gonna run between two to three and a half miles an hour. Um, right now we're at about two eight, and uh, see the bait fish there on the graph that comes off that peak. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna keep running off those humps and coming over those bait fish. All the ladies want to know. Uh, Todd is single. I mean, he's not married. I don't know if he's fully single, but not married. You know, he's a catch. I mean, what do you say, Todd? Catch of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> quite a sea, quite a sea we got here, huh, guys? Freshwater sea. Freshwater. This sea. is our Minnesota sea, <laughs> right? Yep. It's a pretty typical day here, not seeing any boats. Uh, maybe one or two boats a day, and maybe a canoe come by. But uh, usually it's pretty quiet up here. We have so much water that everyone gets spread out really good. Yeah. So yeah. You like it when people? Here. You like it when people are spread out pretty good? I do. I love it when they're spread out. <laughs> Six feet away, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I just carry my fishing rod everywhere. Yeah. yeah that's yeah, six feet. It's when I was saying spread out, I was think I was not thinking social distancing. Yeah, you can beat them back <laughs> if they get too close, yeah. Is that what you do, Terry? You have to carry your rod at Walmart? Yeah. The green grass that's growing up here along the shoreline, I'm not sure if you can get that in the video, but that's wild rice. Um, here in about another month they're gonna start harvesting that. Um, How do they harvest it with canoes? With canoes, you gotta use a canoe, they'll come in with a canoe and they'll do two long sticks and one guy paddles the canoe through and the other guy takes the sticks and then beats the wild rice and it just falls in the canoe and then you shovel it up when you get back to the back to shore and put it in burlap sacks or buckets. 
and then they'll take that and they'll parch that wild rice and sell it. Some people just keep it for themselves, some people sell it. So you gotta get a permit, it's like 15 bucks by the DNR. Well, we get out there for about an hour and a half and we did a bunch of trolling and uh, man that wind picked up it did it picked up uh, about 20 miles an hour and uh, we had some terrible white caps made yeah. it really tough fishing yeah I mean we we're only on a 16 foot boat so we called the day it was like 43 degrees when we left the dock so not only was it windy but it was really really cold and we were just done with it but we have been out dozens of times with my uncle how many times do you, what do you think we catch usually all 60 to 80 fish a day yeah at sometimes least sometimes over 100 yeah i mean if we can get out there and actually stay out there and fish it is i've never seen freshwater fishing action any better than fishing with this man uh bass retail guide service todd larson he's got what do you got three four guides working for you now yep three guides myself he's the best looking of course oh exactly yeah and the hard and the hardest working by far 100 percent. on a typical day we'll uh, we'll catch anywhere from 20 to 50 walleyes a few northerns a few bass um, if we just go after smallmouth, you kind of reverse that. Um, some of the best days we have will be, you know, two to three hundred fish in one day. That's that's only three people fishing in the boat, too, myself yeah. and two other clients. So yeah, the fish will wear you all pretty good up here. Um, and how long have you been fishing uh, out of Ely? Uh, almost thirty years. Thirty years, the longest yeah. running guide service, right? Yeah, yeah, one of the longest running guide services. Yeah, I and another guy. We were, we started together, and yeah. uh, we're still here. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you believe what we believe. That living a waterfall life isn't something you just do for fun, but it's part of who you are. Please like, subscribe, and share that channel below. Also, like to thank our sponsors, Resort Vacation Properties, Brownells, and uh, Salt Life. Remember, take a kid hunting and fishing. What's your slogan? Kids that hunt and fish don't mug old ladies. 100%. Catch Thanks. you guys on the flip side. Thanks.